Today I'm going to get this mounted up to the headset. So the first thing I need to be able to do is figure out the angle. And the angle is 70 degrees. So I'm going to have to lop this off at 70 degrees and fish mount this to fit around the round tubing. So I'm going to show you some tips and techniques that are going to help you do something, help you make doing something like this a lot easier when it comes to fabrication, good fitment, um, and finding out complex angles. You know, since coming at an angle, this is circular. The actual cut won't be a circle, be more elliptical shape, and show you how to get to those things. So let's take a look. This should be at zero, which it is. So that's the angle it's going to approach from. Now we need to. Now we need to look at cutting this mouth out so it fits around this this doodad. So let's get to it. Here's a technique that's very useful. I call it the paper template technique. So basically, you're making a tube that resembles the tube you're trying to uh, fit up, and you're going to use this up against the tube that you're trying to fit against and then it's going to make indentation and you'll know what angle it should be at and I'll show you what I'm talking about we're going to cut some release in this say so like just a few it'll allow this to bend easier and on the back side we'll cut some release That's just going to allow it to, to flex more. So we slide this on and then give it some space. So now that we have our tube slipped on with our indentations cut in, you take it and you fit your tube up against the tube you're trying to fit. Slide this forward. And that gives you an idea of how much you need angle-wise on the back side also. So I'm going to trim this out. And you can see the fold-out flats is easy to cut. And you can see that's roughly the shape that I need. Same here. My cut's not that great, but I'll go back and fine tune it in a second and we'll put it back up here again. So you can put it back together, tape it up, and now I can test this to see how good it is. I did some test fits. So now I've gotten this to where I need to be, the backside where it needs to be, and I'm going to mark this out on my metal, and that's what I'm going to cut out. I used a similar technique on cutting out the metal. I went too far right here, so I made a mistake. But basically, cutting these grooves out allows me to get a curved shape. I'm going to come back in with a die grinder and, and clean it up. But I'm going to pop these little things off, get this cleaned out, and then start trying to fit it up to my, my pipe. Now I got this trimmed out and also flared the edges so that it goes around. It's going to add a little more strength when I mount it up. So it's going to go like this. I'll bend these down and then weld them to the head. And so now it's time to monitor the head. Now that I have my headset cut out, I'll remove this stuff a bit later. Um, now I've got to clean this off to 
um, get it down to bare metal so that I can weld it onto here and it'll fit up like that. So one of the things that, a little secret too, is I'm going to tack it in one spot, probably right here, and then it'll allow me to have the ability to pivot, move it, to make sure everything is totally aligned. You'd be surprised how great the human eye is to get things straight. Um, so I'll get this totally spot on, put the forks back on, and then go ahead and get the engine mounted up to the plate to see how things fit up together. The bars lined up precisely. And it's kind of hard to do with the camera because the lens is a little bit offset. And then you can follow it up and all the way down to make sure things are lined up. So once everything is lined up, as best you can, and it's easy to do with the eyeball as opposed to the camera, but you can see that once things are lined up, when you look through that hole and everything is lined up, if it's offset, that circle, the inner circle is offset, then you're out of alignment. So you gotta adjust your head set to get it just right. And that's where we're gonna tack it in place. Get an overhead look at, now you can get an overhead look at the frame and see how the alignment goes. And you can look down into that hole as I'm directly over, and it should be even, that back circle, the one inside of the main circle. You see how if I move off to the sides, that changes angle, or too high, too low. But if I'm dead on, it's even all the way around the inner circle. And that's how you know it's dead on set. So next thing we're gonna do is uh, work on the rear suspension and the rear wheel. Um, so go ahead and like, subscribe, share, click the bell icon, and um, I'll see you in the next part. Thank you very much.